It's a bright and sunny day, and I'm wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom on a bright and sunny day. And my reminder for you, you, on this day, on this special morning, is that nothing in this life is truly good or bad. Nothing in this life is truly good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Now this is a quote from Hamlet by Shakespeare. Nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And this has to be by far my favorite Shakespeare quote. It might be my favorite quote from anybody ever, okay? Nothing is good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And when you realize this in your day-to-day -day life, you realize that it's so true. Nothing is good or bad in nature. Everything just is. Nothing in this universe, on this earth, on this planet, is really good or bad. Everything just is. Everything just kind of exists. We just kind of exist, right? But the power is that we can choose to make anything good or bad. We have that power, but thinking makes it so. Thinking makes it so. That's the power of the human being, right? Nothing is good or bad in this universe, but we can think and make, we can turn bad things into good things. We can turn good things into bad things. It's all up to us. We're pretty much like in a sandbox video game, like roaming around in Minecraft. We can create whatever reality that we desire. And this is the whole awakening journey. This is the whole awakening process. We are realizing and remembering who we really are. And today, I wanted to come out here in this bright sunlight that is so absolutely magnificently bright today and hot. I wanted to talk about the present moment and how to enter the present moment. More reminders on how to fully immerse yourself in the present moment and what it actually, what I realized that it actually means to be present, what it actually means to be 100% present. Now yesterday I was thinking about this a lot and I realized to be fully present, to be fully in the present moment means to be in your body, simple as that, to enter your body. Because the truth is at the present moment, what is the present moment? It's your body, that's it. It's your body. And the only time that we exit the present moment is when we leave the body, when we enter the mind. The present moment, it's so simple. It's awareness of your body. Your body, it's all there is. Your senses, it's all there is. You know, people say, come to your senses. Come to your senses, you're losing your mind. Come to your senses. And that's so true. That is what being present means to me. And it's what I'm starting to realize and starting to discover within myself. Enter your body. And something very magical and magnificent happens when you learn how to direct your focus and attention on your body on the feelings within your body and the thing with this okay why is it so hard to stay in the present moment why can't we stay present we have all these videos on how to be present right like this one how to be present how to remain in the present moment how to enter the present moment but we can never fully stay in the present moment and I believe it's because we're at a time in this world where we're in a transition phase. We are in a transition phase. Everything, everything is changing. Everything is changing. The world as we know it will never be the same. And we are actually in the transition phase. We are becoming more in alignment with nature because we have to remember and realize how disconnected we got from nature. We got so disconnected from nature in the cities, in the towns. And this is why 
it's so hard to remain present. But you see, in nature, you really don't have to try as hard to remain present because it comes naturally. It just makes sense. Your mind isn't active, you are at peace. It's why I go for long walks every single day. It's why I love to hike in nature. What I find in my own life is that the more time I spend in nature with the birds and the bees and the leaves and the trees and the cactuses, can't forget about the pokey cactuses, right? The more time that I spend in nature, the more present I become. The more I enter my body, the more present I become and the more I enter my body without even realizing it, right? Going for a walk. Eventually, these thoughts are going to dissolve. You know, the thoughts of what happened in town the other day or what that person said in your life that might have hit you on an emotional level. Eventually, these thoughts, they're going to just disappear and dissolve and become less and less powerful in your mind. That's what nature does. Nature brings you back to equilibrium. Nature brings you back to balance. And it brings you back to your body. It brings you back to your body. That is the biggest point that I want to make. Being present means being in your body. And again, we are in the transition phase. It's not easy to stay present in this world. All we can do is do our best. We can do our best because this world is set up in a way to pull us out of our bodies, to pull us into our minds and confuse us. But the only truth, the only reality is our bodies, is this moment, is the energetic flow that is infinite and that never ends and that never began and that never will end. It's infinite. Right, that's that's a tricky thing to wrap your mind around but it's the truth and we we live in a world where unfortunately it is very hard to remain in this natural state but again we have to do our best every single day we have to do our best to remain natural to remain present every single day focus on doing whatever you can to be as present as you can. Do whatever you can to enter your body. This can be doing more yoga practices. This can be doing more meditation. This can be letting go of obstacles or distractions that you notice in your life are keeping you in your mind. So focus on this. Focus on anything in your life that is bringing you away from your body. Focus on anything in your life that is bringing you away from your body and move away from that. And let those things go that are pulling you out of the present moment. And always remember that we are doing the best we can. We are doing the best we can. You are doing the best that you can. So don't go too hard on yourself during this transition phase, during this transition from disharmony to harmony from disconnected with nature to connected with nature go easy on yourself during this process it's not easy guys and i'm going through it right with you i am right here with you a fellow human being here to connect with you going through it as well okay the truth is that i'm going through it as well the truth is that every single human being is going through it as well no one can escape this. No one can escape this process that is going on on this planet. Right? There is nobody that is completely enlightened. We're all going through our own lessons. We're all going through our own unique process of coming back to ourselves during this time on the planet. So be with it. Love it 100%. Be with it and remember to go easy on yourself during this process. Do everything you can to be present, to enter your body, to remain in the present moment. I love all of you guys so very much. I want you to know that you are all appreciated. It's a gift that 
We are here during this time on the planet. We're here during this crazy time. And it's a gift that we can connect with each other this way and share our energy and share what we're thinking and share our individual process and our individual journey. It really is a gift. So I wanna thank you for being here on this day. I wanna thank you for being a human being. I wanna thank you for liking this video. I wanna thank you for subscribing if you're new. And I wanna thank you for commenting down below the present emoji, like a gift under a Christmas tree, okay? Comment that down below, present moment. We're coming closer to the present moment. And it's true, like every single day I'm noticing that I'm getting better and better at entering my body and entering the present moment. Even if some days are worse than others, even if it seems like I'm going backwards at times, that I'm getting more distracted at times, I overall, we are coming closer to the present moment. If you're focusing on yourself, if you're focusing on nature, if you're focusing on letting go of things you don't need, you are coming closer to the present moment. You are coming closer to sunlight, to nature, to God, to everything that is who we really are. So thank you all for choosing to click on this video. I want you to live your best life today and to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.